Today we're looking at the Adams-Onus Treaty. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out dailybellringer.com where you'll find more resources that go with many of the Bell Ringer videos. The Adams-Onus Treaty of 1819, otherwise known as the Transcontinental Treaty, Spanish Session, or Florida Treaty, gave the United States control of what would become the state of Florida from Spain. Spain had a long history in Florida, dating all the way back to the early 1500s when Spanish explorers first explored the peninsula. In fact, the name Florida is said to be originated with Spanish explorer Ponce de Leon and is based on the Spanish word florido, which means full of flowers. The first Spanish colonial settlement was established in Florida in 1565 at St. Augustine. Spain had had a difficult job in maintaining control of the Florida Peninsula as throughout the 1600s and 1700s there had been significant resistance from Native American groups living in the region. Spain lost control of Florida at the conclusion of the French and Indian War when they gave it up to Britain as part of the Treaty of Paris of 1763. But just 20 years later, Spain reacquired Florida and the Treaty of Paris of 1783 that officially brought the American Revolution to an end. Over the next decades, relations between Spain and the young American nation became strained and there were many disagreements about borders and boundaries of Spanish land. In 1803, the United States negotiated the Louisiana Purchase with the French and President Thomas Jefferson argued that parts of Florida were actually part of the territory gained. In fact, in 1810 and 1812, the U.S. annexed parts of western Florida, but Spain still refused to let go of the rest of the peninsula. However, by the mid-1810s, Spain was in a position where they needed to get rid of Florida. Spain had been fighting the Peninsular War against Napoleon in Europe and at the same time were trying to stop revolutions taking place in their southern and Central American colonies. This meant that Spain could not exert very much military presence in Florida and Native American tribes, especially the Seminole, were challenging their authority and crossing over into Georgia and raiding American settlements. In 1817 and 1818, future President Andrew Jackson led American troops into Spanish-controlled Florida to launch attacks against the Seminole during the First Seminole War. The U.S. continued to urge Spain to give up Florida, and in 1817, John Quincy Adams became Secretary of State under President James Monroe. One of the top priorities for Adams as he took office was to get Florida under U.S. control and settle other border disputes with the Spanish. Adams soon began to have negotiations with Luis de Onis, who was the Spanish envoy or representative for the Spanish government. Negotiations went on for several months, as many members of Congress argued that Texas should be included in any treaty with Spain. However, Onis refused to allow Texas to be part of the agreement. After lengthy discussions on February 22, 1819, Adams and Onus met in the State Department office in Washington, D.C. and signed what became known as the Adams-Onus Treaty. The treaty included 16 articles, which of course included Spain handing over Florida to the United States. There was no purchase price, rather the United States assumed $5 million in claims that had been made against Spain by American citizens in Florida. Also, as part of the 16 Articles, Spain received special trade privileges for the next 12 years in the ports of St. Augustine and Pensacola. Then, beyond Florida, the treaty also required that the U.S. give up claims on certain areas of Texas, and then furthermore, Spain gave up all claims on land in North America north of the 42nd parallel, or line of latitude. According to the U.S. Constitution, all treaties have to be approved or ratified by the U.S. Senate which they did unanimously two days after the treaty was signed on February 24th of 1819. But Spanish officials delayed the approval of the treaty in order to use it as an incentive to keep the U.S. from helping revolutionaries in Central and South America. Spain did not approve the treaty until October of 1820, which required the U.S. Senate to vote on the treaty again, which they again approved on February 19th of 1821. The delayed treaty finally went into effect on February 22, 1821, and Florida was officially recognized as a U.S. territory in 1822, with Andrew Jackson appointed as the military governor of the territory. On March 3, 1845, Florida was officially added to the Union as the 27th state. 
So with that, hopefully you learned something and thanks for watching.